All right, hey guys, how's it going? It's all the angry nerd again, and uh, we're back with some more Walking Dead. All right, we're back with some more Walking Dead. Uh, before this episode started, I had a sporadic attack of fucking uh, the hiccups. It was terrible. Oh god, it was just terrible. But yeah, we're gonna go help Andy now with the fence. And we learned something a little bit about the St. John's. Hi. Now that's some swing what's important to them. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Yeah, this place seems too nice. Too good to be true. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell yeah, did thank you, you tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I'll try to be civil at least. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. <laughs> He's too busy being cranky to notice. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Kicked his little leg. He's just like, no. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's be useless without gas. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's Thanks, Mark. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. All right, come on. Get off there. Chop. And a little chop. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but... It's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Oh great, look at that. Look at that fucking shit right there. I think Holy I see God, what I'm getting bad. <laughs> This one must have knocked it over trying to get food. Look at that, it's so oh, bad. Pretty good. Oh, Come look on, at that, that's so bad! So oh my god, Walking off. Dead. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good oh, idea. that was terrible. God, that was terrible. Oh my god. Look at that shit. Little help here, Sorry, man. Mark. I was uh, looking at the shitty graphics design. God, it was flickering and shit. That was bad. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows- No, what Mark! Ah. Ah. What the- Get to the 
gate. No. Get down. You laugh, oh, Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Don't think I can't see ya. Give it some food. Fuck you, assholes. There you go, come on. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Gotta lure me to the open. It's like right in his fucking, like, shoulder bones. Ugh. Oh. Jesus. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Oh my god, this sounds like the guy off of South Park. Yeah. They took our job. Pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Love that. This <laughs> sounds like the guy who's like he took our jobs. Come on, pull him out. Oh my god, I can't take it seriously, I'm falling apart. All I think about is the guy from South Park, he's just like, the took our jobs. <laughs> oh my god, and that reminds me of all of them, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm fucking, I'm falling apart here. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> like, that guy sounded normal. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> Give us the food. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Definitely didn't push down this one. Come on, guy. Not there he is again. <laughs> really think you can fuck with us again? You okay? Yeah. Fair. Come on. The gate's right there! You fuck with us! They will think we will Ooh, right through it. Fucking eye. Let's get out of here! You lucky dumb to bitch! Get out of here! I can't even take that part seriously. I can't take it seriously. <laughs> All I can remember is that fucking red haired guy Please, from South Park. They took our jobs. It was a goddamn ambush, you fuck. Was a goddamn we were attacked ambush by South Park Holy people. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! We were attacked by South Park people. With those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people Fuck off, the Larry. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. Um, wait. So much for your deal. So much for your deal. Oh, shitheads broke Dick the face. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Alright, I wanna at least talk to everybody first. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. 
take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Doc? Since Doug didn't have the biscuits what? on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Yeah, we shouldn't have everybody here. <laughs> hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Yeah, I spent the extra time to go do that. But, uh, we'll, uh, talk to Kenny, see how he's doing. Did my fat friend Doug eat everything? <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. I forgot. Lee takes a, like, long way around. <sighs> okay. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution, to first people in the world, <laughs> seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Uh, how you holding up, man? How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Lily doesn't want us to be here. I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Okay, well, at least that was better than last time I played. The only reason why I picked Sean was because hey, Clint, Kenny was like a coward. Yeah, it's but he's fine. good. He's Thanks a good guy. For fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Ah, we'll do it right now. Sure. Happy to push you on this way. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Uh, how you doing? How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the dairy? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. It does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Uh, yeah, probably over time. Yeah, I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's Gotta good. be optimistic. Yeah, me too. We're safe here. Don't worry, we're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. At least that conversation went a lot better than how it was before. 
because uh, before when I started this on a separate account, because when I saw season two, like it came out, I was thinking about. <sighs> Sorry, I got a little tired. Oh, uh, like playing through it first on my own, but then when Kenny was like just hardcore giving me shit, he was like, "Oh, you know, dude, you fucked up." You're a fuck up. Like, no, you didn't help me. And I was like, dude, at the motor, and oh my I God, fucking. I'm so glad you two didn't get killed I helped there. you, you Do fucking you think asshole. Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? I can't believe there's still hope. Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Can I talk to you in front for a second? Yeah, I okay. was, but I'm an asshole to you because you're you're kind of a bad person. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. That's just how he is. So he's the asshole. So he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. <laughs> I know that. He's not so he's the asshole. <laughs> He's got a lot of pain. I give it. I give He's it been that. through so much. And lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. I was about and to say, fuck you, ways. coward. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating <laughs> me like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I'm not gonna judge you, I'll judge Larry. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Fuck you. Cause I'm black, that's why. Cause the goddamn color of my skin, that's how you feel. Alright, let's go kill me some bandits. But alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode, oh yeah, I'm gonna end this episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed, next episode we're gonna go hunt them damn bandits and find out more about St. John's. So, uh, yeah, have a good Monday, and subscribe, like, and favorite.